In this training video, I want to go over tags. Uh, Wi-Fi network tags are designed to affect the way your Wi-Fi Ranger treats these different wireless networks during an automatic connection process, either when you click auto connect or when a failover occurs automatically. So it doesn't change anything um, in regards to how you manually connect, you know, let's just say I click connect manually on this network. It doesn't affect that at all. It's only applicable when you're actually um, having the Wi-Fi Ranger automatically go through the list of networks and attempt to connect. So there's a couple important things to note here. Here's the uh, tag column. You can check uh, the tag box for any particular network that you want to um, treat differently. Um, but one important note is that uh, it depends upon which um, Wi-Fi Ranger you're using. So I can either use the Mini, which is known as Internal Wi-Fi WAN, or the Sky 2, which is known as WFR Control. So we've got the indoor unit and the outdoor unit. So this is important to distinguish between just because it's an option as you create a tag. So let's say I create a tag here. I can choose the type of tag, but I can also select the internet connector. So since I have the Sky 2 selected, I can either use WFR control, meaning that it's particular a particular effect that's only applicable to the outdoor unit. Or I can select all Wi-Fi connectors. Um, meaning that regardless of whether you're using the indoor or the outdoor unit, this tag will apply. The uh, So um, you can see here I've got select on all Wi-Fi connectors. Then I can select the type. I've got three different types. We've got prefer, ignore, and last try. Prefer basically prioritizes this network above others so that if you're going through an auto connection process, this network would be in a higher priority. It would be what you're more likely to end up connected to. If you ignore it, then the Wi-Fi Ranger will simply skip over it. It won't even try to connect to it at all. This is helpful if you've got networks that you know are unreliable and just really slow internet. They're not worth your time. So you can ignore those networks um, and then last try is designed uh, to be used when you have Wi-Fi hotspots. So let's say I've got an iPhone and I create a Wi-Fi hotspot with it, but I don't want the Wi-Fi Ranger always using my iPhone. I want to conserve my data. So I can set this up as a last try, meaning that the Wi-Fi Ranger will only use my iPhone as a final resort if no other Wi-Fi networks have internet available. So prefer it to prioritize it, ignore it to skip over it, make it the last try to conserve data on some kind of a Wi-Fi hotspot. So I'm going to prefer this network, save the tag, and now um, you'll see it's checked right here and if I performed an auto connect, I'm very likely to end up on this network. So one final note on the difference between the Mini and the Sky 2. Um, let's say I want to distinguish a tag and make it applicable only to the Mini. And again, this might be because I have a uh, iPhone or something like that. Um, so we'll just uh, go ahead and click connect on this, or not connect, click tag on this network, select last try, and select internal Wi-Fi WAN. This means that the Wi-Fi Ranger Mini will use this network only as a last try. So this would be helpful if you had, say, an iPhone and you just want the indoor unit, not the outdoor unit, to connect your iPhone. So you can go to the Wi-Fi tab 
and you can see your list of wireless tags here. So you've got an order. So if I were to add multiple preferred networks, I can prioritize the networks um, on the Wi-Fi tab. So let's say I want Blue Mesh Networks to be in the highest priority. I just move that up. Um, you can also create a partial tag. So let's say that there's a common word. Uh, we'll say Ranger. Actually, let's use Mini in this example. So it's case sensitive but I can basically create a tag that is not specific to a particular Wi-Fi network like you see here. These are specific explicit tags, but I can make a general tag that says any Wi-Fi signal that says mini in it, just like this, is going to be treated in this way. So I'll just say ignore anything that says mini. And that's also, you know, helpful if, say, you go to RV parks that, uh, you know, perhaps Tango Internet, a common provider, you could create a tag called Tango, and then you can prefer all Tango networks because you know that they're pretty accessible to the public. So um, tags like that can be helpful, and you can see here that... Um, I have ignored, you see that little red icon, I've ignored anything that has the word mini in it. And it's applying to multiple networks here. It's just a generic tag. And then uh, it would be a green icon if it's, or no, it'd be a check mark if it's a preferred network. So think that is basically everything involving tags, but it's just a helpful way to uh, change the way your Wi-Fi Ranger uh, goes through its auto, auto connection process. You can either prefer networks, ignore them, or use your precious data as a last resort only when truly necessary. So I hope this has been helpful and uh, have a good one.